Greetings all, Vanny here for Leo's Weekend Oracle Message. Leo, if you guys had not seen the last video I put out on the YouTube and TikTok channel, I am no longer doing daily Oracle messages because while I loved doing that for you guys, the two, sometimes four hours it takes every single day to record that for you took a lot of my time and energy away from my many other projects that need attention too. So I am still here for you guys. I will be moving it to a weekly message that will be released on Mondays and a weekend message that will be released on Saturdays. I am also starting to use tarot in addition to my oracles, which I have not done outside of my YouTube live streams. So Spirit, what is Leo's message for the day? Oh, oh, we being a little spicy. Okay. You have the Six of Swords straight out. And I personally always love seeing this card because um, the Six of Swords is you leaving a situation where there was a lot of chaos and calamity and upset in the water because it's a little hard to see here, especially with the green screen geeking out. But the water on the side of the boat that she's leaving from is very chaotic and tumultuous and it's it's very I didn't grow up around the ocean what's the word that I'm looking for aggressive I guess I don't know mama would probably know the right word for it but the waters that she is going into are a lot calmer they can sustain lily pads which needs a semi-stagnant form of water to have a good root system the, you are going into calmer seas, but you also have all these swords going into the boat that may be leaking in um, old energy. But you also have death in reverse here. And I don't feel like that this is you avoiding a change or preventing something from happening that needs to happen. I see this more as you just allowing things to be reborn because you also have judgment on the end here and they are in ju the judgment card they are rising and releasing themselves from their coffins maybe that is why you have the death card here because you're not going to allow that journey that land that you're coming from to defeat you to lay judgment upon you you're taking that into yourself and not letting someone shift that because they want to take away your power or do something to make you feel like you need to be reliant upon them. Because normally in the Six of Swords, there is a woman and her child at the front of the boat and a man is steering the boat. In this one, it is solely a woman and she even has like a veil over her head, like she maybe had just left her wedding. The tower in reverse has come out like three times today and you're the fifth sign so there are things going on you also have the sun in reverse and the four of wands that had come out sun being in reverse uh i feel like that is not because you are having a new beginning that much is evident from the tower the death card the judgment the celebration that you're having here I don't feel like you're avoiding a new beginning, but being mindful of the sources of light, being mindful of the sources of your knowledge, not taking things at face value and looking at them deeper. Because one thing that keeps like catching my eye about this card, the judgment card that's come out a couple of times, is that it's made to be an optical illusion. I and mean, when you look at it like this, it looks like a single person with eyes, mouths, arms. But when you look at it closer, you'll see that it's actually two angels looking down. So there are more things to see. And I think that that is why the sun is in reverse. And death is in reverse. And the tower is in reverse. And what you have upright is the four of wands, the six of swords, the judgment. How you are viewing and celebrating your time and energy what you are taking from and the, the information that you're taking from that is shifting. 
You're not taking things at face value. You're looking deeper into the meanings of them and their connections and like the, the source of it all because like think of it like smart shopping and like oh <laughs> this came out and it was hilarious um like when bud light did the advertisement with the transgender influencer and all these stereotypical heterosexual males are just like oh i'm not gonna drink that beer anymore i'm gonna drink this beer and like they're all owned by the same company and they didn't look deeper and realize like how entrapped in a single label or mindset that they were because they think shifting it to a slightly different version of that is a completely different thing when everything is really under an umbrella term of or um, um, an umbrella of ownership you leo are looking into who really owns what and being mindful of where you get your resources where you get your information because information can be warped you have offerings and wealth that have come out for you. You will have air and creativity. You have altar honoring. Soul retrieval and dream weaver. Access accessibility and reclamation. Holy crap, Leo. So not only are you intelligent, you are powerful in many ways with creativity with energy, with your mindscape. You have feathers of restoration as well, my love. Leo, this is one of the most interesting readings I have ever seen because the cards are not speaking in the ways that they normally would, if that makes sense. Like the original meanings are different in this. And that is what the great thing about being a reader is is that you can interpret that for what i see here leo is someone who has left a pack mentality situation where think of the lionesses and the pride since you are leo they are the hunters they are the providers they are the ones that actually feed the 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 pride the tribe and yet they so little get the accolades for it because it immediately goes to the lion. It immediately goes to that image. And I'm just looking at like this, this here. The four of wands is like a wedding. And then here in the six of swords, she looks like she is in a veil leaving the situation. So she may be leaving a situation where she did have someone, but was not happy. And it, it very much put her in a side to the in a box to the side where she became more of an item and an asset than a person and you leo are so much more than just a unit that can be marked down in the inventory that's not who you are my love you are someone who is powerful bountiful and pugnacious but not in a way that you are going to be searching for fights you are pugnacious in a way that if the fight comes to you hell is to pay because you have seen many things you have fought many battles and you are very powerful if it comes to your doorstep you are going to be able to send it away if it comes to you it is going to regret its decisions because you are protected by more things than you are aware of because your insight is a gift your intuition is a guide and i love this so much for you leo because this shows so much trust in yourself and in your own energy that that is not something that a lot of people have these days because we are so often taught that we our energy and our faith lies outside of ourself and an omnipotent being that judges us in a system that tells us what we need to do and you're not listening to any of that anymore Leo, you're tuning into your own voice and your own energy and finding out what it means to be everything that makes you who you are and every facet of it. And you're not accepting a one size fits all mentality. You're not accepting that blame that they try to lay down upon you. You're making your own path and following your own light and not falling into the traps that someone was trying to put you in. Look at the tower card here. These women are flying above it all. And that is what you're doing. 
you powerful, powerful Leo. I love you so much.